Hi, my name is Elliot and today I went to a thrift store um, to go for a thing and find some clothes. But then I found an American Girl doll, which I did not think I would find because I live in Scandinavia. It's so, like, no one's got them here. But anyway, I found uh, I found this beautiful Mary Ellen. Um, I'm actually not sure I'm keeping her because I have a doll that looks quite a lot like her. But uh, so my seller, but she's really pretty. So I might not. Also, she's my first uh, historical doll. So as you can see, this is like exactly how I find her. Found her. Uh, her hair is not that bad, but um, she is wearing like none of her meat outfit. She is wearing her own little ski, no, uh, ice skating shoes, and then she's wearing all her ice skates, and she's wearing some uh, white, white outfit, which I don't quite know which one is, but probably from the Truly Me line and. Uh, and then AS cool accessories, um, which annoys me a little bit because, well, first I would kind of like to have a made outfit, and secondly, it's like when they have uh, an AS hula outfit, then like who, whichever Swedish child owned this doll probably had an AS too, and like I'd really like her. So I'm kind of annoyed that um, I was only able to find like Mary Ellen also, like. Because there were so many outfits, like I saw the doll and I was like, oh my god, maybe the rest of the outfits is in a bag somewhere here in the thrift store. So I went looking. Um, and I didn't find it because well she was in the uh, she was in the part of the thrift store which where they like antiques and things that they think they can take a lot of money for. Um, and not in the normal toy section, which kind of tells me that they knew this was quite a valuable doll. Uh, because a lot of people in Scandinavia don't, and you're like a lot of people in countries where you can't buy American girl dolls don't know that they're actually really expensive, uh, which is why a lot of the ones I get are in such bad condition because they were like, those kids cannot cannot uh, treat their dolls right. Yeah. So yeah, uh, like I said, I found this doll in a thrift store, and um, I'm just gonna go straight into fixing her up which um, is very quick in this video because you will see it in 600 times the speed. So I started off by just uh, undressing her, putting up her hair and then opening her neck strings and taking off her head and the stuffing. I won't go into that much detail because you've probably heard it like a thousand times. Um, but yeah, this doll was actually quite nice. Like all of the dolls I've fixed up before have been beat up. Uh, so this was actually a nice surprise. Um, I had no idea that I was going to find a, a doll in the first floor. I was just like, I went over to the antique section and then I saw her ice skate like on the top of a cupboard or something. And I was like, oh my god, that looks like a, an American girl doll. So I grabbed it and took it down and I was like, yes, that's Mary Ellen. Um, so here I'm just washing her limbs actually with uh, baking soda. Uh, the baking soda and water method because you can't get ma magic erasers in Denmark. Wish I could though, because that would be so much uh, cleaner and less messy. But whatever, I'll I'll take it. So I washed her. I washed her limbs. Really nice. She wasn't that dirty to be honest. Um, she had a, a couple of marks. Like here is a little bit of white marks which which I just removed with uh, acetone free nail polish remover. Remover. Like she had no uh, stains in her vinyl which is the first doll I've ever gotten, which has no stain in their vinyl. So that was also amazing. Cleaned her face, um, started tightening her limbs with those elastic bands. I know you can actually like take out the cups and take out the elastics entirely, then retighten that or uh, like replace the elastic entirely. But I, that seems like a lot of work. Um, so I'll just do it there not so permanent way yeah um but it worked and her limbs weren't so that loose but loose enough that it was annoying to me uh then i just started restuffing her which looks really funny in high speed because her arm is just going whoa, whoa, whoa. um i like that yeah uh people find restuffing to be the hardest part but i don't really think it that it's that bad to be honest you just i don't know it's just like listening to some youtube and chilling um, then I had to get to work on her hair, which was not, like I said, it was not too bad, but he, she did have some 
uh, a little piece of her bangs cut off. Uh, but it's not enough to be annoying to me, really. It's like, if you know the Mary Ellen doll, you know that it has like... Like she has those um, bangs which are side bangs, and then she has like a little flippy piece, or like a little piece that kind of sticks up. Um, and that piece was cut off in, in, on this doll. Probably to like make it more flat. Yeah, but then when I just went straight into uh, curling her hair, I don't think I filmed that, but here I am taking out the curlers. I just left them overnight. Her hair wasn't entirely dry when I took them out, but uh, still. I got some really nice curls, considering I didn't steam it or water dunk it or anything. It's just like the Mary Ellen doll has a lot of curls, and the curls were pretty preserved from the uh, like from the past owner, luckily. So look at how like nice and shiny those are. It's amazing. Uh, I'm just brushing them out, and then... I am going to probably like finger curl them, yes I'm doing this here, just to like brush them out and then curl them again, I don't know why I did that, that's probably a bit, to make them look a little, a little bit more natural I suppose, although they don't. Um, what can I say, I don't have any of Mary Ellen's outfits, I only have this, like this one piece, because I got another, my Gabriella doll came in this, this is her like gardening outfit, I think the romper from her gardening outfit, it came out while it was not into American Girl, but uh, I don't have any other outfits from her collection. I do have her crinoline also, and then the shoes from her poodle skirt. I don't know, it's just the pieces I wanted. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just like... Now now she's in this little, little, little romper, and she looks like a pinup girl, which is fine. Um, started listening to a story online. It's boring, I don't know what to say. Uh, she lives in a boring time period, so... That's interesting. She's a boring character, actually, I think, but uh, the doll is really pretty and her hair is like nice and red and look at how pretty she is. So, yeah. Um, thank you for, again, listening to me rant and watching this. Yes. <laughs>